Hey guys, what's up? D Live here, back again with more Ultrana. In today's episode, I am floating. I am floating. Today's episode is gonna be the last upload of Ultrana I do. But listen, this is I'm gonna start streaming a lot, and this is more of a a series that would be better for stream because there's a lot of building, it's a lot of going out and searching for things. It's not much really kind of situated for uploads so make sure you go follow me on stream i'm going to be starting to stream probably after the new year like crazy i'm going to get my setup moved up into a quiet room where i'll be able to stream a lot and i wanted to put a series on the stream that a lot of people like and uh, i believe this one would be cool i think you guys would enjoy it and uh it'll bring more room into new minecraft stuff but this will also have a place on stream it'll probably be like a main series I do on stream. So the reason why I'm in creative as well is because I have a lot of foxes and goats in there and they tend to follow me and they won't leave me alone. So I can't really got, show you guys what I've done. I'm gonna put this world up for upload or download, upload, download for as well so you guys can play it. But remember when you do download this map and go to play, it, you need to install most of the mods that I have. I think the Walled Cities mod is about the only one you don't have to because it's already generated and it doesn't bring in anything except for what's in the crates. That could be a problem if you try to go away. So I I, I seriously telling you to download all the mods. The uh, links should all be in the description and the ways to do it should be in the installation. It might take you a few times. I think most is just plug into the mods folder. I use Forge, so I don't use Optifine. So that's gonna be a whole different story. But for Forge, most of them are all drop. I think Walled Cities mod, you have to do something with the config file. So let's go in here. I did name a, uh, a new pet in here because we had the pink sheep remember and we we're gonna name it bro man we needed a name tag but it disappeared so now we have a turtle named bro man so you're gonna get four three turtles and a raccoon in here so you guys can add a lot more animals in here um i'll probably be doing that on stream since i've kind of filled out the goats and foxes but i'll show you guys that you'll be getting everything in the house like even the furniture mod the night mining mod you won't get the helmet that i have there's so I would suggest you download as much, if not all, the mods. There's a crab in my garden. But uh, you'll get all this. You get every single crop you can get except for melons because I never was able to find melons yet. But you'll be able to get those. In here, I believe I did not add the flowers prior, but there is some new uh, Lone Shadow. A lot of people from Twitter got added. So we got Lone Shadow. We got Tom. We got Purdy Nerdy. We have Lady Joss, we have Matthew, we have Andrea, we have Samantha, we have Ninja, and Angela, and Dina. I think that's all of them. So you'll be getting a lot. As you can see, the foxes do not leave you alone. But you'll see that you also have a bin by every tree. See if I can get in there. And there should be fruit in every single tree. So that's pretty cool. And there's torches everywhere. They should be safe. Nothing should spawn. And you might be wondering what this is. This is a little chicken coop. It's not impressively built, but it, as you can see, I had spawners before and all of them were pigs, but I was able to go into MC Edit and actually move the spawners and change what they are. So we had like, I don't know, three, four pigs here. So I ended up losing, I don't know if I lost one. I have a villager, a skeleton, a cow, a pig, and a chicken. I think I ended up having five spawners. So what you see is in here, we have a chicken. We have a chicken one under there, and the cool thing, the one thing is these will despawn if you don't name them. So you could name them, but the cool thing in here, I put these little trap doors. They jump up here and they go down there, so it leaves some room for them to climb around. And I like it. So uh, we have here is a new, completely new building. It is a little outdoor barn, and uh, it's got a roof and everything, some chairs. We got a pig spawner in here, and some cows in here. Now, it will get crazy in here because they will keep spawning and it'll probably spawn out. So it's a good for food. If you want some quick food and you need some quick food, you'll have it there. There's some ovens. The enchantment table's up here as well. I never put an anvil in, so you're going to have to make that. And this will be if you get any uh, discs, you can stick them in here and play them. I think I do have them in my house. I will move them here. And here's an ender chest. Basically, everything in my ender backpack will be in the ender chest. 
So you can make more ender chests. There's one in the house and there's one out here. So if you move another house, just make another ender chest and you'll have access to that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. I wish you could make a double ender chest. That would be amazing. I'm not sure if I had this. I'm pretty sure I had this last video, but it's got the waterfall and another waterfall here. Um, it's a little messed up there, but maybe I'll try to fix it. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I like how this looks. Um, and now this is all brand, actually, no, it's not all brand new yet. There's the path that goes up here and then we have a path up here. And then when this green moss ends, this path ends and then it's the village. Now I replace all cobble with stone bricks and it looks really good. I have this glowstone thing to match up. There's an added building here, which houses the villager spawner. So you can get so many different trades. Um, the cool thing is the more swords mod messes with these guys and some of them actually I'm trying to find one It would probably be the uh, Blacksmith Ooh, that guy actually gives you an ender eye an eye of ender for eight emeralds I've never seen that trade before That one also does too. That's cool and uh, don't know what that's doing there. Enderman must have been here to block the door. <laughs> that would be funny if he actually blocked him in. Um, here I've kinda, I changed the door where the door was because a lot of these buildings, they spawned up on hills and the door was in a spot where they couldn't get out. So I fixed that. So you might see a little bit of difference from when I was in here. I was trying to find one that actually showed you the more swords. It gave you a trade for, that guy actually gives you a bookshelf for three emeralds. So that's. I guess not too bad. Why is he so hurt? Must have got messed up. There was a lot more of them, and I, I stayed around at nighttime, and they couldn't get in the houses. They do load up like crazy. This I changed dramatically. Um, it has three waterfalls, which I like a lot, and they kind of go in here too, which is interesting. They kind of hide in here. See, there's so many in here. I'm trying to see. Will you trade me? Oh, hey, here's one. See? If you give them seven, seven emeralds and a water bucket, you get an aqueous blade. Now, I can't remember how to make an aqu aqueous blade. We have a chicken egg. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> In creative, you can just massively uh, throw them out. Oh, this guy gives you seven emeralds and 15 bones. Go get a bone sword, which I think is a horrible trade, but still, it's kind of cool how it does that. And there's a staircase leading all the way up here. I shit, I'm probably going to fix this. I didn't notice how bad that looked. We could fix it right now, but it was uh, stone bricks. A few things, because I was messing around with the stairs probably last night. As I did this, I didn't realize how stupid this dirt looks here. Here we go. Does it look fine on the bottom? Yeah, it doesn't poke through, so that's good. So, as you can see, there's a lot of difference with the cobblestone. It makes it look really cool. I'll probably fix this as well. You might see a few different changes from what's in the video because I like it to look kind of cool. I want it to look like a village. There's a skeleton somewhere. There must be a, a cave area. But yeah, this was, this was, the door was on the other side for this and the door was on the other side for this as well. But I, I made it, I, there used to be like this huge mountain peak here and I kind of destroyed it and put a little cool waterfall effect and, and in here. It's kind of cool. You can do something with this, and I plan on making maybe an underground house with the water coming around it, but it is really cool. So, uh, yeah, a lot of these houses, I just swapped them over. This one I created. Two I uh, deleted. I think there was one... Let me see. There was one over here. It was, like, on the side of the mountain. It was kind of stupid. And I think there was another one here where you see this huge area. There was like a small one, a tiny one, and it kind of spawned into the mountain. So I got rid of it. They just didn't look right. But now the village looks really, really good. I like how it looks. It looks nice. It looks cool. And uh, I guess I'll leave that. That grass kind of looks weird there, but it makes sense. That that looks kind of weird there, too. You got some coal, so if you need some coal. But you'll be getting all my inventory stuff, which is cool as well. I'm saying cool a lot. This is like a mini garden because it kind of spawned into this. And then the path ends here, and then you have all this stuff out here. It's actually getting late, so I should go to sleep. Unless you want to see a lot, tons of villagers die. So that's pretty much it. It's I put a lot of work into that village. It took me a few hours to transfer everything and make sure everything looks good. 
Uh, I tried to make it so you had everything. I think the anvil is the only thing we don't have, which I'll try to stick somewhere. But the house hasn't really changed. I haven't really done I built that, and I'm pretty happy with it. But you'll have a pet dome, a big pet garden in there with all the fruit trees. You'll have the, fr the garden out there with all the stuff. You'll have the... Um, chicken coop, the barn with the cows and pigs, and a village with a villager spawner, and you'll be able to get stuff. Like, if you can get emeralds, you can get Eye of Ender and go to the, go to the end of the world. So let's, let's stick this into the regular game mode, which should be this. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna do something with this, wasn't I? I don't know, I'll just stick this in a, in a, ooh, I don't even have room. We'll just stick it in here on my bed. So, let's do some treasure. Let's fill out this time doing uh, doing a little bit of a treasure. Do we want to do an easy one? These are all ones you can guys can try to find. I've messed up those. Let's do let's do a medium. Do we want to do let's do an easy one? We'll see how long that takes us. Let's do an easy one. The problem is I don't know where it originated. This leads to 45, 47. Okay, so it's a little bit away and 213. It's actually in the water, I think. Where is this one? This one will probably take us to the end of the episode. The last treasure we got had a diamond in it. Am I going the right way? So it's 4547, which... Which is... Why did I jump in the water? I don't know. Oh, yeah, and another thing. Find a pink dolphin. If you guys find a pink dolphin, share that with me on this, uh, on this series. That would be amazing. Where am I going? I'm completely, I don't, even though I have the coordinates on the side below Ray's minimap, which is a, which is an awesome mod, by the way. I'm still having trouble. <laughs> it's really far this way, and it's in the water because it is, it is 45, or 47. But we gotta go really far this way, so we'll take this little path here. If I actually brought the map with me, I would have been better off. I should bring my sword down here. I think I ended up losing the sword, so I just spawned it back in, just so you guys had it. I accidentally put it into the, like I was trying to get rid of stuff out of my inventory, and I accidentally hit the sword up, so <laughs> I'm sorry. It was like, I think, two-thirds down. I think I have a lot of diamonds, so I should have just cre crafted one. All right, so it's way out in this water. I should have brought my boat. Do I have some, I don't even have, do I have wood in my under backpack? No. That's something you need to put in there. Make sure you remember to put that out in there. I could get uh, the. F Is there a f kind of a. I don't know if there's a glide one. If I keep going this way, we'll go as far as we can until we have to go into the water. Let's keep going this way. Hopefully, we'll find it. Do 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 do. Oh, got stuck. That's a cool looking fish. It's like yellow. I never figured out how the fish tank works and what you're supposed to do with it. I need to figure that out. Okay, so we're getting close. So it's going to be off the edge of the water here. Interesting. Gonna jump. All right. So where? We're getting close. So what was it? Oh, 213 is Z. Oh, crap. It's out there somewhere. At least we can see. How late is it? Okay, it's midday. So let's get right on point with X. It's 213, so it's out there somewhere. It might be a lot easier to find than other stuff because you could see the water. You can see underwater so easy, and it would just be on the bottom surface. All right, so we're here, right? 45. So we got about 100 yards to go swimming. Let's go! Actually, wait, 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 hold a second. Hold a second. Hold the phone. I need food, first off. And where's our familiar's guide? I can do the cheetah where I can run fast. Ocelot. Equip. Back. Close. Eat food. I can run fast in the water if I get a nice sprint off. See? So that's pretty cool. So we're looking for 213. So it's almost like a boat, but once I stop, I'm going to lose the speed. 
Oh, there's an abandoned... Oh, there it is! Holy shit, look how it spawned. So this was actually relatively close. Let's go get what's in it. Is that like an abandoned mine shaft down there? That would be kind of crazy. Gold, mushrooms, TNT, lots of coal. That was actually a really, really, really good one, guys. I'm gonna die. Oh! Okay, we did it. So we got some TNT out of that, some gold nuggets, but a lot of coal. And I think I didn't have too much coal, to be honest with you. But I don't have to cook so much on this our food. So that was actually good for you guys. When you guys take over this, or even my stream when I'm cooking food. I'm probably going to cook a lot of food in stream, too. And figure out kind of what I need. And the good thing is I have cows now, so I can get milk. And I also can get beef. I can also get bacon. And I can get poultry. The only thing, I need turkey. I need lots of turkeys. And I don't know where the turkeys are at, so that's something where I'm going to have to go expedition for. Let's go back home, and we'll end it off there. I hope you guys enjoyed the series on YouTube. It was uh, it went 20 episodes, but don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to be on stream. Now you guys aren't going to miss anything. I'm going to be naming more people, so make sure uh, following on Twitter is a big thing because I'll probably remember that and kick off a stream by naming somebody something. So I'm going to have to throw things in the pet dome. And also, I'll probably name people who are watching the stream. I don't know when it's going to start. I know I said I was going to stream prior. But with Christmas, and we haven't got a chance to move everything up there because my internet changed, and it went from, uh, like, uh, it went to cable. So anywhere a cable line is, I can run the internet through it. So I can move into a nice, quiet room that's away from all the hustle and bustle. And uh, it'll be a lot better. So here's the village. Ooh, do, 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 do. I like running really fast. This is actually cool. Whoa. What was that? Whoa. I hear a zombie banging against the door. Oh, here's one. Oh, he's all in gold. He's got our chicken egg. <laughs> Did we, get, we got the chicken egg back. We earned it. We earned it. And a lot of people said, oh, get armor. And I, I, I completely forget about armor in this because it's so, there's so much to do. There's literally so much in this mod pack to do. And that's why I like it for a stream. You got this uh, little skeleton spawner here too. You could probably get rid of those skeleton heads and have easier access to it. So you, but you could get bone meal anytime you want. Oh, we got a chicken egg. Should we save this? Oh yeah, this map we should get rid of. We'll throw this in the water over here. We don't need that anymore. Here, be free, chicken eggs. No chickens. No chickens. So, <laughs> look at all the foxes. The goats could care less. The foxes are crazy. The foxes are absolutely nuts. They are crazy. I'm gonna run around with them, because they're crazy. Watch this. Don't, no! Lady Joss, get back in here. Get back in here. Get back in here. There you are. They're pushing her out. Stop pushing Lady Joss out. All right, here we go. We're gonna run. <laughs> How many foxes we got? Five, six. There's another one over here. Come on, foxes, follow me. There should be eight, I think. How many foxes do I have? Six. What? What's going on with half friends? Half friends don't care. You don't give a shit. Come on, party dirty. They're kind of stuck. Oh, there's Half Prince. Somebody got him loose. He cares now. The Fox Stampede. The Fox Stampede. But yeah, this will be a stream. So make sure you... There should be a link down below. Follow me on the stream. Oh, we lost the Fox. Get over here, Fox. Foxes. Purdy nerdy don't care. Purdy nerdy. Okay, here we go. Come on. We got all the Foxes. Make sure you follow the link down for the stream and... uh you guys, you guys will have fun watching, and it'll be like real-time uh, interaction, which is basically what this series is all about, as you guys see all your names. It was all about interaction. So we got the goats. We can't forget about the goats. There's Tom jumping up and down. He's excited. <laughs> He's just hopping around. We got Matthew there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As you can see, all the pretty flowers, all the fruit trees. With uh, A lot of them are grown, too. Actually, I didn't have anything in this one. That would be rude of me not to have anything in that chest. I should have everything else. 
Oh, not lemons. I lie. Oh, that's right. Oh, right. I had to move a few trees because I forgot the lemon tree. The lemon tree is new. Some things might be moved around too because the lemon trees move and I extended. I uh, I don't know if that was in the last one. There's still an apple tree in here. That's interesting. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it by ch going and sleeping for the last time. But don't worry, this will be streamed. Just, I might put highlights up on YouTube, so you might not miss it completely. Stick that TNT in there. Let's, uh, where do I put the coal? I put the coal in the kitchen, don't I? I put it in the kitchen. There we go. See, I was getting kind of low, I guess. And we're going to stick our familiar's guide back in there. What else do we have? What do we get? Gold nuggets and mushrooms. The mushrooms... Where's the mushrooms go? Where did I have the mushrooms? I had I have everything kind of organized, kind of. <laughs> There's the mushrooms. So I've actually loaded up on mushrooms, and then I just gotta toss the gold nuggets into the gem box, which should be here. You guys have eight golden apples to eat as well. And uh, tomorrow I'm gonna have a Minecraft seed video and uh i might do a minecraft vanilla survival let's play on it because it's a really good seed that i found um, i actually saw it on a web page and i highlighted kind of the cool stuff from it so i hope you guys will enjoy that i hope you guys enjoyed so far what's happened on ultrana thank you for coming by and watching all these episodes and i will see you on stream later guys